Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will create this awesome isometric design and it is related to uh, data center, cloud, digital solutions and network infrastructure so for those kind of slides this is a great concept that I have created so let's start and the very first step is to design background and every time when we design backgrounds and you have also noticed in my other videos as well we always tend to create these gradient backgrounds because one thing about gradient backgrounds which is really great and I love is that gradients has um, Gradient colors uh, have this power to attract the attention of users, and gradients really help in, in you know connecting with the mind of a user because you all love colors, and gradient really helps in connecting with the thoughts uh, that a slide is portraying and yeah <clears throat> so here we have inserted this rounded rectangle and we have increased its depth so that's why it is looking like a 3d now if we are filling a gradient color into it so i've chosen the gradient type as radial so this is a place where you can play and test experiment Try your own skills and imagination, creativity, and you can try some different vibrant colors, you know, matching with this blue. You can also try different uh, gradient background like uh, yellow purple, and then draw this dark blue kind of shapes over that. It will also look very nice. So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And also you can subscribe hit the subscribe button along with that you can also hit the bell icon <clears throat> and this will really help us in reaching 100,000 subscribers so here you can see we have stacked these different rounded rectangles but we have changed their transparency so the bottom one is least trans is the most transparent so we have arranged all these so what should we do next <clears throat> so i have also increased the transparency of this top 3d looking dotted rectangle so we can see through it and let's create one more and place it um, at the bottom of the stack but it is uh, okay let's do one thing like remove its fill and fill a gradient line the border so we have filled this gradient border now this blue green kind of blue and light blue kind of gradient so you you know there are lots of things while designing that you come up when you experiment and it is not something that you have in mind and you just click and it works it, it, it's never like that when you start creating these designs then you come to know okay I can do this I can also do this okay let's do it this way so there are lots of things that comes in real time now the next step would be to increase the depth of this top layer and they will make it the biggest part of this stacked rounded rectangles 
so now it has covered all those ships so let's shift it up and now we'll fill a gradient nice gradient color into it and we'll add some transparency and it's pretty easy as you all know that how to do that so i have used this purple and bluish tint and i know i am just trying different colors here and i think towards the end of this video i might change some of these colors because i need to draw a color palette and then match all the colors to see if these colors can you know match perfectly or not because i am very particular about the colors that i use so so now th this stack is complete and it's done so now let's do some experiment here let's change some lighting angle or material here so all these things are personal choices like the kind of material you want to use the lighting angle it's like buying a new house and you can do all the customizations so everyone you know had different preferences and tastes so like i'm placing this top layer and so i'm confused about the color at the moment so let's pick this white so let's increase the tris transparency and i hope it might look good So now what we can do is we can use this bottom part and place it at the top okay so a cool variation has come to my mind a thought so let's do it we will increase its width its transparency and slightly reduce its size so that It looks different than all the rounded rectangles or squares stacked below. Slightly reduce its roundedness. So I really like this phase when I, I just think and keep on trying different things here and this really helps in fine tuning the design and you should also try that after a couple of minutes just relax think for a moment and think like what else you can do to bring this shape or this design uh, to make it more lively and impactful so we have you know applied this inward shadows on the white top block so let's try to fill a solid color here like dark color i think this dark blue is looking really nice here it's coming out really nice and this shape is quite big so but you know one thing that this is our shape that uh, I'm trying to create a concept a concept for network infrastructure data center servers and this is coming out really well all you need to do is just fine tune it polish it adjust the lighting angles material some gradients move some sliders here and there and test like what could be the end result so i'm just trying to see if dotted lines will look good here or dash type so let's reduce its size if we can make it complete square then also it will look good now you can see i have added few more rounded rectangles at the bottom with thin line and no fill so i haven't covered that part in this video 
I, I, as it is pretty much easy and simple and you can do it I'm confident about it so our design is almost ready so this is one of the basic shapes that is a part of our design now let's do some more fun here duplicate this top uh, square and fill this color this vibrant blue and further reduce its size and place it at the center of this dark square and add gradient color into it make sure it's radial because radial will make it more vibrant so we have filled this radiant color and slightly move the sliders now you can see it is looking much better now and let's bring it to front this top rectangle and now we have to do one thing here we have to bring out some light and some rays coming out of these data centers some kind of data is flowing so that kind of concept we are drawing here and this concept i have already used in a couple of my previous videos and to do that you have to insert this bar and place it like this now what you can do is you have to make sure its width is equivalent to the width of this vibrant square at the bottom so let's remove its line and we will fill a gradient color into it from bottom to top first we have to match it edge to edge of this bottom square so now let's fill some nice gradient color and the gradient color should be linear from bottom to top and it will really give uh, it a really nice effect a kind of data that is transforming and flowing through this stack of servers on, on the second gradient stop okay on, on the first gradient stop increase the transparency and on the second gradient stop you have to slightly increase the transparency and and the next step is to make sure that this light effect is you know behind this uh, top rectangle so we have to bring this rectangle to the front and now we have to apply a gradient line color on this top rectangle so we have applied this gradient color on this rectangle and we have to slightly adjust the angle of this gradient let's test the angle so that it looks kind uh, submerged into this light effect we have to slightly adjust the transparency as well i think the angle is not correct something let's pick this this angle yeah so here is our final design i haven't covered the complete tutorial and the reason is i want you to create this complete slide you can download this template from the cheat drive link given in the video description as usual as in all of my videos so I have only created this main server in this video and this was the difficult part of this video rest is pretty simple you have to design those circles and you can apply the similar light effect you have to draw these rounded rectangles at the bottom the floor with some light effect and trust me it's all simple pretty easy so guys please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section below, spread this video, share as much as you can, this will motivate us and we will bring out more such stuff to you and we will keep on designing such good videos and help you learn the power of 
powerpoint so that's it for today bye bye peace